Hi, welcome to Daddy Curb's farm. Luke and I have been experimenting on trying to figure out how to best sift our compost. So he and I together the other morning went and made this uh, sifter out of scrap materials. And today we were experimenting the best way to put it to use. So let me show you the routine on how we're getting fine sifted compost out of these piles. I'm gonna show you the, uh, the construction of the sifter and how I sort of rigged up a temporary station to sift the compost. So come in close, let me show you this. The sifter itself is built out of two by fours, just a, a box 24 inches by 36 inches with a piece of quarter inch hardware cloth stapled to the bottom with some trim to help hold that on. Then I drilled holes in the corners just to tie the, uh, the rope on so that I can hang it up. And my structure here is quite simply, it's four T-posts tied together, very, very shallow, uh, tapped into the ground with a piece of rebar laid across the top. And the rope is just, you know, it's got some, some uh, knots tied on the top to sit on the, on the rebar and then tied onto the sifter. So we'll go through one routine on how, uh, from start to finish, how we're doing this. So let's go over to the pile first. Now Luke is taking from one pile and filling up a bucket. All right, then we're taking the bucket over here. Everything's really wet because just a few minutes ago when we were gonna start this video, we got about a five minute really hard shower so it turned our compost little area into mud but i got these canisters or containers we were at the recycling place yesterday dumping off some plastic and uh, these were laying in the dumpster they're old uh, drawers from those um, like sterilite shelving complex type things and i took them out of the dumpster because i know i can use them in the garden and around here for projects and they work perfectly for this so I turn them long ways, or short ways I guess, uh, and place them underneath the sifter, dump it on, and Luke takes the first turn to uh, start sifting, and I'll manipulate the placement of these according to how he's bouncing this sifter. Go ahead, bud. There you go. Then I'll take my turn. And I'm not concerned about getting all of it because some of it's going right back in the pile. So this is going in a bucket. And let me show you what we're getting out of this. That is fine sifted, beautiful compost. This pile has been a little bit neglected. It's been there for a long time. It hasn't been turned on the appropriate uh, schedule. So there's still some big chunks, but that's okay. We can take the little bit of sifted, sifted compost out. Then we take these, turn it the other way. All right, Luke, let's dump it. And then we'll put these right back in another pile. Let me fill the bucket. Go ahead and fill this bucket up. And I'll go ahead and show you what I'm doing with the finished compost. So these are part of my tomato plants for the year that I planted in buckets. I had some tomatoes in the ground, some in buckets. So I'm just gonna take this compost and add it to the tops of each bucket. I'm not using any fertilizers at all. Uh, really I haven't added the only thing I added was some eggshell uh, calcium uh, I didn't do any Epsom salt or anything this year so I'm just using all compost come on, come on. hello 
Hi. Hi. Yeah. Is it full? You ready to go? All right, I think I'll just wrap this video up. I'll show you my little friend. These chickens here, these are, these are uh, part of my breeding experiment, which I haven't showed enough video on, but I will show these guys later. This is one that I'm calling a spangled leghorn. And uh, so far it looks like the hybrid is a sex link. I can tell from birth whether it's a male or female based on the color, color of the legs. I may not, uh, that may not be true, but so far that's what it looks like. I'll have to breed a few more batches to make sure that that's correct. But this one looks like a little rooster, a little cockerel, spangled leghorn. So, and they're really friendly. They've, uh, they've adapted really well to hanging out with us and they come up, they fly and land on top of our head. Earlier, Luke and I were standing here doing the composting and it flew out of the garden, landed on Luke's head. See that? Probably poop right on my shoulder. All right, so thank you. Thank you so much for joining me here at the Daddy Croups Farm. Mm -hmm. Another dirty episode with composting with Luke's help and uh, your help by being here and visiting with us. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you soon. There you go. Good job. Keep going. Okay, my turn. What am I doing, Mom? You're sifting. I'm making you jump on? Yeah, that's what you're doing. Alright, let's jump it out, buddy. Am I making new compost then? Yep. We're making cystic compost. Alright. I'm going to talk about it.